Lastly is this one right here. Same thing. Uh, the only thing, uh, the only difference is, is here you're multiplying and you're dividing. So uh, one. Again, you're going to do the calculation. Do it. So you're going to do the calculation. So we're going to say 434 times 4.2 times 1080. And then we're going to get an answer, right? And if you notice, I don't know if you can see, my answer is 100. I'm sorry, 1,968,624. So when looking at this answer, you're going to write it down here at the bottom. And it's going to be 1968624. And the next thing we're going to do here, since we're multiplying and dividing, we're going to look for... Um, significant figures, right? Alright, so we're gonna look for sig figs, yeah? And then once we find the number of sig figs, we're gonna choose uh, the least number of sig figs, least number of sig figs, and that's where we're gonna round, okay? So here, if you notice, this one right here has three because they're all non-zeros. This one has two, right? And the three that I'm saying, one, two, three, one, two. And then this one over here, uh, I'll give you a little bit of time to see if you can determine how many this one has. You might want to say that it's four, but it's not, it's three. It's this one, this one, and that one. Remember that zero does not count because there's no decimal. So then, uh, if you look at here, we got three, two, and three, so we're gonna choose the least one, and the least one, of course, is two sig figs. So that means we're gonna count from all the way from the left. Yeah, no decimal involved now. All the way from the left, we count one, two. So that means that we're gonna round right there. Well now, you're gonna box in over the next two values, right? Which is gonna be those two, yeah? And if you notice, that number is greater than what? greater than 50 so therefore you're gonna promote 1 to the 9 yeah and so when you promote 1 to the 9 then it's gonna make it 10 and then so you gotta promote 1 to the other one as well to this one okay so now we're gonna end up in a little problem right now uh, so uh, just bear with it uh, so when we promote 1 we're gonna end up with 20. Some of you always, uh, for some reason, there's a misconception here. No, do not just write the 20. You got to write zeros. All of these are going to go to zeros. Yeah, all of these will turn into zeros. So, how many zeros do you have to write after that zero right there? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's your answer. But now, is that the correct answer? No because here you only have one sig fig and you need two sig figs according to this calculation. This is where scientific notation comes into play, so you have to write it like this. That's the correct answer. Okay. All right, next one. Real quick, now let me just do a division one and I'll leave you guys alone. Uh, let's skip a little bit because I kind of did a lot right here. So let's go to number four. Uh, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go right here to five. We got 3006 divided by 29.27. And my answer turns out to be uh, 102.699900092. Now I'm being a little bit over dramatic in writing these numbers, but uh, I just want you to get the gist of it. So next we gotta go and see the number of significant figures. Well, this one has four. All of them count because these zeros are in between. And there's four right here. So that means you don't have to make a decision. You just uh, say that it's four significant figures. So you're gonna start all the way to the left. Count one, two, three, and then four. Yeah, That's where we're gonna round. So the next thing you gotta do is your box over your next two numbers, which is nine, nine. And nine, nine is over 50. So therefore, you're gonna promote one to the six, yeah? So then your answer turns out to be 102, not 0.6, but 0.7. All right, 
Well, I hope this helps. If you have any other questions or anything like that that you need uh, from me, um, of course, you're going to take your test. Uh, for those of you listening, uh, this is for uh, tomorrow's class, which is um, uh, for September the 14th class. So that means you guys will take your test on Friday. And if you're in uh, my September 15th uh, day class, then your test will be on Monday. Okay. All right. Hope this helps.